David's account. But I know there used to be a bank that was like Orange or something, and Chase does it as well, online banking, where they pay you like 1% to 2% on a savings account. That's pretty much the same as a money market, like a money market account. So you can do either or. If you, if you really get itchy and you're like, my money's not doing anything, I want to make a couple bucks on it, you can get those um, high interest rate savings account or a money money account, which you can do with any bank. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for that. So I hope that answers the question. All right, let's keep going. Um, I don't have any kids. Can you skip over five and, and get to six? So paying off the house early. Yeah, if you don't got kids, you know, you know as well as I do, everybody that has kids, we'd all be a lot richer if we didn't have them, right? So take the money you would spend on a kid, which is probably like a thousand to two thousand a month, right? Um, and just put it towards you know the next step yeah 100 percent. either yeah i'd skip that step altogether just go right towards paying off the house right probably the same as paying off a college fund um for the emergency fund let me just see for the emergency fund is it good to use the four wall four wall s as the basis amount for saving at a minimum to get started house utilities food and transportation it's um, so for your four months, ex for your six months expenses, this is how I do it. Every single thing that you spend money on. Okay. So there are fixed expenses, right? My fixed expenses are probably about 4,500 to 5,000. And there are variable expenses, which mine are about two to 1,500 to 3,000, depending on the month. So it averages at about two grand, give or take. Um, your six months worth of expenses should be your fixed expenses plus your habitual way of living. So if your habitual way of living averages out that you spend three to 500 a month on clothes, you should probably budget that you have another $500 a month expense. Because the thing that makes this easier is, I think it's really hard to stop doing all the things that make you feel human, right? Like I like buying shoes and I like buying clothes. I'm sure other people do as well. I like going out to eat. You could still set little budgets for yourself, right? Like let's not lose our minds here, right? It's not gonna be as fast as if you completely stop buying clothes, but you're also gonna